Hello and welcome to Infinity. I'm going to do a monochrome conversion in just the Develop Persona and uh, to see what kind of interesting effects we can do. In fact, we're just going to use the basic controls here. So we're going to start off here. We'll just pull the saturation down to give us a monochrome. And then Although the histogram is fairly full across here, we're going to go to the shadows and highlights. I'm going to pull the highlights all the way down and the shadows all the way up. And see, this has effectively squeezed this in. Let's just do that again. Watch the histogram here. As I pull the highlights down, it pulls in from the top. And I push the shadows up there, it pushes up from the bottom. So I've now got the histogram right in the middle, which means this has gone pretty grey. So what we're going to do is pull it back out again, but by using the controls up here. First use the exposure control just to slide it along, because the exposure moves it, the whole thing up and down. But we're going to slide it along till about the middle, so you've got the same amount of gap either side. Because the black point pulls down from the left, as I push that up. So I get that to just about fill the histogram. And the brightness does the same at the light side. That pushes that up So to fill the histogram. So I've already got a very different picture here now. See this guy here, you can see a lot more detail in him. Here's what it was like beforehand, straight after the uh, saturation being pulled down. So he was quite dark and now we've already got a lot more detail in it. So looking a lot more interesting. So what else can we do? Well, let's look at the enhancements here. If I turn on the contrast, it sort of stretches in both directions. So if you look at the histogram here, you're getting a spike at the bottom and at the top, which means you're pushing a few bits here and there into black and a few bits all the way into white. And if I turn up the clarity, I'm going to get local contrast. If I push that all the way up, you can see the overall effect. That's probably a bit extreme. So we'll pull it down to somewhere that's just a, you know, Interesting, but not not too incredible. So maybe there, and balance the contrast back again as well to compensate for the, some of that effect. And there, that's pretty good. There's you know look at the difference already. I can do one more thing in here and go to the white balance because I can play with the tints here, see what happens. No, that doesn't do anything to me. The yellow up. Maybe just a little bit. And the green magenta tint. Green? No, I don't think so. Maybe a bit of, a bit of magenta just to get a little bit more sort of shape into the sky there. So, there we go. Very quick, very easy. Uh, and going from, this was the original, to notice the guy here, fairly dark, which means when you desaturate it, yeah, it's also going to be fairly dark. And by the method I showed you here, we end up with a lot more interesting picture. Just like that. And thank you very much for watching.